G'day, it's Craig here, and I'm gonna go through with you our range of VSR, voltage sensitive relays, or battery isolators, they've been called. Um, we'll do a brief description of what we sell, what they do, and um, how they all work, so you'll be an expert in no time. Okay, so what is a VSR, you might say? Well, some have heard it as a dual battery isolator, um, anyone that's going to be running a dual battery system, which means we're going to have a start battery and a second battery, whether it's a car, caravan, camper trail, boat, you name it. If you're going to be running two batteries together, we want to protect the main start battery and we want a little gizmo in line there that will detect the voltages and basically work like a switch to turn the system on and off automatically without you having to do a single thing. So I'll go through some of the basic models and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so let's go through our first VSR, which is our 50 amp mini VSR. So this is a little ripper. I'll show you what it comes with. There's the VSR by itself. Also comes with an awesome set of instructions that everyone's gonna read. Comes with a little terminal, a couple of mounting screws. And it also comes with a couple of terminal protectors to cover the terminals once you put your wiring on. Now, basically this fella here, so it will cut in at 13.2 volts and cut out at 12.8. So what that means is when your uh, start battery's charge hits 13.2, it'll then allow the second battery to start charging. What happens then is once you turn your vehicle off altogether, once the start battery runs down to 12.8 volts, then this basically physically turns the two off from each other, and that way you will not run your starter battery down. It won't touch your start battery whatsoever. You'll keep using your secondary battery for whatever appliances you're running, and then the next time you go to start up, the start battery is good to go again, and happy days. Okay, so there you go. There's our 50 amp mini VSR. It's an awesome little product. Okay, next on our list is the bigger brother, which is the 140 amp um, VSR. I'll show you what comes in that one. So once again, we have instructions. We have the relay itself. Set of mounting screws. And once again, a single earth wire to attach and your start battery and your auxiliary battery connections there. So once again, this is more set up for your older model vehicles. Um, once again, your newer style stuff, you really do want a DC-DC charger, but this will handle bigger current draws. So, you know, especially if you're using boats with high current draws or uh, something with a couple of fridges that'll, that'll pull more amperage through, then the 140 amp is basically the same as the, the little mini brother here. It can just handle a little bit more current um, and does exactly the same job. Okay, so the next in the line is our 140 amp VSR, and this actually has an override on it, and also has a couple of little extra features. So we'll go through what it comes with. Let's have a quick look in the box. So there's our overrides, there's our VSR with our override switch. Go through that in a second. And a set of instructions. Okay, the beauty of this one is um, not only can it handle 140 amps like the other ones do as well, still cuts in and cuts out exactly the same, but it does have an override switch. So the beauty of this is if you ever get stuck in the situation where your start battery has gone flat, you can actually turn the override on and what that does is makes a physical connection and joins both batteries together. So for like an emergency jump starting, etc., a, a lot of... Um, Auxiliary batteries aren't designed to start batteries, but it's better than stuck in a creek with a heap of alligators around, isn't it? So basically, um, it has a nice little switch on it. Now, it has a couple of extra features as well. It comes with all the mounting screws. On the back, you'll see here. So we have, once again, the earth wire that's just gonna go to ground. We have a yellow wire here, and you can put a little um, LED on that, and that'll signal, signify what the, um, the VSR is actually doing, as well as we do have a blue ignition wire. So um, some of you that might be on a budget that um, or don't want to get into a DC-DC charger yet, you can still hook this into a um, ignition source and that way it'll kick in at the earlier voltage um, like some of the smarter alternators do or some of the older vehicles that the alternators are really dodgy on. You can also use this and it'll actually let them charge a little bit quicker. So that's all in the instructions but it's a great idea and once again just a two-wire hookup. So um, 
that's a great little one with the override. Okay, last but not least is our kick-ass quick connect with Anderson plug dual sensing um, VSR. And I'll show you what that one comes with. Once again, our wonderful set of instructions. Some more mounting screws. And there's the BC there. So like it's a little brother here, these are both dual sensing. They both have the override on that I went through before. Now a quick thing on the, the dual sensing, well the beauty of that is um, it will actually, if you've got solar panels and you're camping and you know, you're running your car stereo as well, the beauty is this will actually charge your start battery until either or drop out. So once the cut in voltage um, drops down to about 12.8, it will cut out. But the beauty of that is while you're camping with either one of these two, you can actually charge from the second battery with your solar setup or whatever you've got coming in. So they're a really good idea. Now the beauty of this one, it does have our Anderson plugs. So anyone that's familiar with those, it makes it nice and easy to connect in. Um, so there's no wiring by the fact of just running the Anderson plug. And I'll, I'll go through a quick wiring kit in the moment. It does also have the override switch exactly like mentioned before. So if you do need to get out of trouble, you have got the little override switch you press on. Now, just remember whenever you are using an override, it's not instantaneous. So what you normally need to do is let it sit for about four or five minutes. You'll need to let the batteries equalize and then bang away where you should go and you should get a nice start if you need to. Um, so I'll go through some of the, uh, the wiring kits that help the ease of installation with these um, products. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the wiring kit that's associated with our mini VSR, our 140 amp hour, the dual sensing. To make it all fit nice and easy, they are just two terminals for your positive um, side of each cable, which goes from your start to your um, rear battery. Each one of them is the same. So you can't get much easier than that. So what we've designed here is our, um, our wiring kit. So it gives you everything you need to wire one of these VSRs up. So you've got your main cable from your battery, fused, to your other battery fused. We give you the fuses, all your bits and pieces, some heat shrink, even some cable ties, so you can never have enough cable ties. So this basically gives you everything needed to wire up one of these guys without having to get any extra wiring. So it's a really nice, easy install, looks neat, and um, highly rate using this wiring kit with one of these VSRs. Okay, and for our Anderson plug model, which is, um, you don't have to do any wiring but plug in a couple of Anderson plugs, so how easy is that? It is awesome. We have our easy wiring kit here. It's basically our plug and play system, we call it. So you've got the maxi fuse end to go to from your start battery. Then you have a heap of wiring, which is long enough for most vehicles. It's six meters of wiring, so there's heaps of wiring. We give you the Anderson plugs, as well as the fuses, dust cover, everything you need to be. Once again, more cable ties. And the beauty of these, it's just a simple quick in, connect up, and away you go. You can't get much easier than that. All right, a great tip too with our um, quick connect wiring harness is we actually remove the Anderson plug off there for you. So um, you can connect this to uh, the relay if you're gonna have that in the front or the back, but um, a lot of vehicles, it's actually nice to run the cabling up in through the engine bay underneath the carpet to your auxiliary battery. And that way that can get through all your grommet holes and everything like that. And once you're all done, you can actually quickly put your Anderson plug on. It's a nice, easy, quick connection. So that's a, a great little help to be able to get through little, um, you know, little holes, little areas. You can run it through your chassis or under the vehicle, but if you're doing some serious four wheel driving, it is a great tip to actually have it on the inside of the vehicle and it's protected from sticks and branches and rocks. So um, makes it nice and easy. Okay, a quick hint here for those who have never used Anderson plugs before, how easy they are to use. Um, basically what we want to do is always remember that the positives on the right hand side of the Anderson plug with the positive, so red to positive, blacks on the negative, um, nice and easy to put in. Now you will see underneath, you do have some little um, tips that actually go underneath onto the inner side of the Anderson plug. Now don't forget, we've chucked in this little ripper of a um, dust cover, so put that on first. Line the Anderson plug up. Here a nice positive click like that. Anderson plugs in. 
It's ready to rock and roll. If this is going to be underneath your vehicle, you've got a nice little dust cover and you can't get much neater than that. Well, that pretty much really sums it all up. Um, it gives you a bit of a rundown on all our VSRs and what they do. Remember, if you have any issues with any of them or want to get in contact with our sales team, don't forget to get in touch with us all. We won't buy it.